In our previous video, we talked about why we would do research. Let's talk about what is, in this case, marketing research. And so marketing research is the set of processes for creating, communicating, and delivering value to customers. If we are doing research for non um, for nonprofits, uh, for academic, it's still a set of processes for creating, communicating, and delivering that value, helping inform decisions, uh, but not necessarily to a customer, to a client, to change um, the body of knowledge, to change what people are doing. When it comes to marketing, we wanna get the right goods to the right people for the right price. So as we said in our previous video, we wanna make sure that before we invest all this time and all the resources, all these people, that it's really worth our while and going to add value. And so research data collection is about making sure that we're gonna be successful if we go down this road, right? So let's look at, too many things open, don't know how to move everything at once. <laughs> All right, so let's define, at least here, let's define marketing research. So we are going to design, gather, analyze, and report information. And because this is marketing research, this is to solve marketing problems. If we're looking more generically at research, then we are designing, gathering, analyzing, and reporting information to solve uh, business problems, organizational problems, uh, in, um, long-standing problems or challenges in science and medicine, right? Uh, so designing, gathering, and let's just write this up here. So we are going to design, design, gather, analyze, and report information. Right, so more formal definition would be the planning, collection, and analysis of data relevant uh, to, in this case, marketing decisions. Again, if you're not doing marketing research, but more generic uh, research or research for other purposes, then it's not a marketing decision. It's simply a decision related to some other aspect of your organization or uh, academia. So planning collection analysis of data relevant to marketing decision making, to marketing decision making, uh, and the communication uh, of the results the results of the analysis to whoever is got the power to make change. So in this case, if we're doing marketing decision making, uh, then often that's going to be uh, management. <laughs> uh, so if we're going to do marketing research, then we're going to need marketing data, which is going to be information regarding our specific customer groups, their geographic regions, who is the target market. So in order to do marketing research, we're going to need to be able to take a marketing problem and turn it into a feasible research question. If we are doing research related to the production or operations of the organization, then we're gonna take a operations problem. So maybe that's related to quality management and we're turning that into a feasible research question. If we're looking at improving the services within our healthcare, we're turning that healthcare problem into a feasible research question. And so the first couple videos we're gonna be looking at is going to be how to actually define the research question from whatever problem you have within your organization or in general in academia. Uh, how do you turn that into an actual research project? When it comes to marketing research, we can use marketing research to help the business. So we have customer orientation. So we're looking at uh, identification. It's a problem with trying to write vertically. Identification. 
uh, what do we have here? Identification of and focus on uh, the people at, or firms. So we could be a company that sells to other companies. Uh, so identification of and focus on the people or firms that are likely to buy. To buy a product. Uh, and the production of those goods and services. So when we talk about marketing research, it's not just about selling, but it's also about ensuring that we make the good or service that meets their needs. Okay, and production of goods or services uh, to meet their needs. most effectively. So in marketing research, we can focus on the customers. Who are they? What do they need? Alternatively, we can have a more systems orientation, which is going to be the creation of um, systems. So we're saying of processes, come on. Why are we not behaving here? Come on. All right, creation of processes um, to monitor external environments. and deliver the desired marketing mix. So the idea here is that we need to understand what is happening in terms of the economy, in terms of changing demographics. So maybe there is a change in who the people are that live in the area in which we provide our good and service. Their age is changing, their income level is changing. We'd also wanna monitor what is happening in terms of the economy. If we're expecting to see high unemployment and we are a luxury good, then we're going to expect that less people are going to be willing and able to buy our product. So we're monitoring changes in that external environment and then changing our marketing mix. Well, what we mean by marketing mix are the four Ps uh, that we learn about in a marketing class. So this would be the product itself. So perhaps you want to change what it is you make or do. And then we have placement where we sell that particular product. How is it made accessible to our customer base? And we have price. So product placement, price. And then we have promotion. Advertising, how are we going to get people to know about our product? So placement is where they can go to get it. Promotion is how they're going to hear about it. Price, how much they're gonna pay for it. And product, what are the features and characteristics of it? And so when we are doing marketing research, not only do we need to understand who the customer is, man, that handwriting is bad. Identification and focus on the people or firms that are likely to buy the product. Uh, but it's also the product itself. So we are making sure that we have the right marketing mix. And then the marketing research can also be more systems oriented. So processes for maintaining the right marketing mix uh, and monitoring those external factors that would impact what that marketing mix would be. As I said, if there is high unemployment, if the economy is contracting, then we might need to not offer as many high-end expensive items. Maybe we have cheaper alternatives uh, that are available to it. If our customer base is changing, so the population is getting older, then products that are geared towards families with small children might be less successful in that region. Can we also offer a product that would appeal to uh, the older population? So we use marketing research to understand our customers and how we connect with them. 
In our next video, we'll look at the purpose of marketing research.